Hey guys, it's me, Nina. Um, I'm back with another video this week. I don't know why I said um. um. I'm an urban educator, speaker, and blogger, and I love doing unboxings and reveals of different things. And this week, I have a package from The Real Real that is final sale. I got another Burberry trench coat. I'll link down below a video that I did of an unboxing of unboxing on this isn't a box so I'm like do I call it unboxing um, but there was a really good sale on this and this is a raincoat version I'm really hoping I love it and that it fits and everything because it was an awesome price and it is final sale so I really hope I love it um, I love looking up things like this from different companies and I'm gonna open while I speak um, just because maybe you haven't shopped at the real girl before and you're not sure what to expect and I feel like this is better for a thumbnail. <gasps> Thank you for bearing with me. Um, I feel like for me personally, when I'm buying from a company like the Real Real for, Real Real for the first time, I'm always skeptical. So I'll put a timestamp if you just wanna see what the item is, but I thought before I go into that, I'll just tell you a little bit about what the Real Real is. It is an online consignment shop, and recently there actually have been allegations that some of the items that they're selling are not actually real luxury items. So that is kind of scary, especially when you are spending so much more money, even for used item, I mean, because of course um, you're not gonna be paying the same cost, but I've realized that there's certain key items that are easier to get used, are easier to get at a good price used, and these tend to be less of the iconic luxury pieces. Like this trench coat, for example, I was super glad to find it because it's actually tan and finding the tan Burberry trench coats tend to be harder and they tend to be more expensive on the website. But I did find one. It is in polyester though and this was $200. I believe I spent something similar for my cotton one and when I opened that one, I was really blown away by the quality of it. So I'm hoping to have a similar experience right now, but we will see. I really like the packaging better for this one. It came in a black bag. Last time it was this like really ugly like box. And I feel like when you are spending even for a consignment version of something luxury, you do want to have that luxury experience. Their dust bag is a little bit rough <laughs> like compared to other dust bags of like Marc Jacobs or um, I have like a little Louis Vuitton key holder and they tend to, or even Coach has like a silky one, but this one is a little bit rough but my brother for the other one constantly tried to take it from me. So I still do think that there is some kind of appeal to this dust bag. And it's kind of, I don't know, like if, am I a weirdo? Comment down below. Do you also go for dust bags? Um, but yeah, let's now open it up. It looks kind of olive, so I immediately was like. Okay, it's definitely olive. It's not khaki. I think it might've said, this item cannot be returned. It's already final sale, so I don't know why they said that. But, whoa, it has the check, which is something really cool. Wow, it looks like brand new. Last time for their trench, I got in a small, which was really pushing it for me. And I, I'm, a, I tend to be smallest in my chest, but if I gain weight, I gain it like immediately in my chest. So. That one is like already super tight, so if I gain like even a pound, it's like I literally cannot button it, I just wear it open. Um, but this one will be medium, so I'm curious to see, because I hate when things are too loose, and I actually prefer if they're a little bit more tight, because I like that fitted look. So we'll see how th this works. Wow, this is really cool. I'm like curious, I'm like, I almost, like I don't know if this, if I'm crazy, or if like this actually does look cheap. Like does that look cheap, or am I just being like crazy nitpicky? It has the check. It looks really new. It was made in Thailand, 100% polyester. I'm like one of those crazies who like, not crazies, I mean you like, oh, the lighting. Um, if you're paying for this, obviously you want it to be real. So I'm one of those people who like double checks everything, like even if it is authenticated, especially with the claims made online, um, I wouldn't want to buy something that actually is not luxury if they are selling it at that price because why would you spend $200 for something that is a used fake? Um, right from the go, I'd say that it's not as like wow factor as the last Burberry one that I had, but there it's polyester. And I think that even within Burberry, you have to acknowledge like their cotton coats cost like 1,700 vers versus their polyester ones are 1,000. So there is gonna be a difference, but I'll try this on for you guys right now so you could just see what it's like. So the jacket fits really nicely. 
Based off the viewfinder, I like the way that it looks. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, they even have like the spare buttons and stuff really rattled. So this looks like it actually was really actually worn. And then this next pocket. It's more of the, an, an olive khaki look. I think, let's see. Yeah, I think if this is tied back a little bit, that's really cute. And it goes up to like my hip. As somebody who is heavier in the thighs, I tend to reach for items that can go a little bit farther because short coats do not look as cute on me. And now I'm just gonna untie this just to see if it fits if I were to just button it. Yep. Ooh, just came out. This, the quality is like so flimsy, like being completely honest. Um, I'm a little, I don't want to say disappointed, but ooh, okay. But this will do the job. This is the little rain hat. I wanted a raincoat, something updated. My other raincoat's kind of dead, but I do love the look of it. I was planning to stitch it up because it is literally dead. But yeah, I mean, I guess if you put this through, it looks like I am a solid, solid medium. I'm trying to give you the, the full experience. Okay, so now we're back. Now me wearing the coat. It looks really nice sitting down, I think. Um, I'm still kind of deciding whether or not I really like it. I think I need to see myself in a mirror. Regardless, it's final sale. So unless I see something that tells me that it's not real, I don't think I'll have any justification to actually return it. But I will say that I wanted to buy these Stuart Weitzman boots from The Real Real and they were final sale and when I emailed their customer service about it, they told me that I would be able to return it if I could provide something saying that something in the listing does not match with what was on the website. So I think there kind of is a way around even the final sale. And if I find out this isn't real, or if I find something that makes me feel like it's not real and I could like cross-reference it, I think I could return it. But I really need to see this fully in the mirror for myself to tell whether or not. But still, $200 for a jacket that is normally so much more is really cool. And this is the Burberry Brit version, so I love that it has like the little check and I guess you can't see that here, but it's on the inside. Um, I love that it has a little check. It's just something so classic with Burberry. Normally, I'm like, <laughs> like mumbling, sorry. But um, normally that's harder to find, especially with um, like when you're going for consignment, those items are normally not hard to find. They're usually still super expensive. So I'm excited. And I have a feeling when I see in the mirror, I'm gonna be in love with it. You guys can comment down below. Do you think this was a good buy? Do you think that I got bamboozled? What are your thoughts on the real real? Do you like consignment? Do you think it's weird? And I'll see you guys later on this week. Bye.